Hey, what's up, YouTube? Man, I'm back. Hey, I got some goodies for y'all. You know how you be riding in your car, right? And you can't find a place to put your phone and you wish you had a spot because a lot of cars don't have a place to put your phone these days. So they expect you to just, I don't know, hold it in your hand or something. But you ain't supposed to be doing that because you're supposed to be keeping your eyes on the road. Guess what? I got the Ham Swan Car Mount for Safety Drive. All right, so there's not much to this thing, but it is epic. You wanna know why it's epic? Because it's a suction cup mount. The thing is crazy, when I saw it, I had to have it. Because a lot of uh, car holders or car mounts, they actually have uh, you know, this little ball and then it, uh, you have to put it like a magnetic plate or something uh, in a case or you know mount it to your phone or something like that and if you're an Android user you're probably using wireless charger because it is uh, 2017 and it interferes with the uh, wireless charging this however all you need is a flat surface and it's gonna stick to it via suction cups this thing's got like five or six suction cups hey you know what let me just quit messing around with this let me open this thing up get it unboxed all right so not too much to the unboxing experience here let me just slide this little sleeve off and uh, open it up Got the user manual. We'll go to that if we need to, but chances are I won't. It's just a car mount. All right, here we go. We got, uh, how many is this? This is six, six suction cups. And I can already feel it pulling on that magnet. Six suction cups, like a little octopus. Just All right, cool, let's, let's put that to the side right there. Okay, you got some, this looks like some extra um, adhesive pads. And then let's take this little, get this out of here real quick. Nothing else in the box. Let's take this little mount piece out there. All right, so we got all the stuff unboxed. This this part actually mounts to the dashboard or the surface that you want to mount your device to, and then you got your little suction piece right here. Let's see. Let's see that magnetic pull. Let's see if we can get it. See how strong that magnet is. Oh, okay, it's on there. Okay, it really is on there. All right, so yeah, <laughs> it really does stick to. It sticks to that mounting plate really, really well. And of course you got some extra pads here. Looks like three and they're kind of, almost kind of like jelly, but they've got that adhesive on them. So let's go ahead and put this on here. Let's see how it sticks to the phone. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here and connect that. All right, got my phone cleaned off. Let me get my, my fiber cleaning cloth out. All right, so, man, that's just, oh, wow. Okay, you know what? This is not magnetic, This uh, these suctions but um, it almost has like a, wait, man, once you barely touch it, it just grabs onto it. Wow, that has got a really good grip. Okay, so, you know what? I'm, dang, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in the car. Okay, it's, yeah, it's not going anywhere. You can run over a, a couple of small animals and children, and this is still not coming off of your dashboard. All right, so let me go ahead and mount this to the car and uh, see how this works out. All right, we out here in my son's car. I'm gonna put this on his dashboard. We're gonna go ahead for testing purposes, put it right up here on the top. Now, honestly, I did read the instructions and it says you're supposed to clean the surface off just like such. So I'm cleaning it with some rubbing alcohol real good because this thing is filthy. Make sure, you probably want to put it on a flat surface too. Man, it's so dusty, you got all this pollen everywhere. All right, let me just get this clean. I'll show y'all all this dust anyways so that's clean right but it says clean it off with a um, with some alcohol make sure the surface is super clean and then what you want to do is take off the uh, take off the little red sticker here to expose that adhesive and you're actually supposed to let it sit for about an hour ain't nobody got time for that I'm gonna just push this thing on here real good and we're gonna put it to the ultimate test if it can stick it's a keeper. If not, I'm gonna get rid of this thing. So, I'm just gonna put it on there, smash down. Let me smash down for like 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let me give it a little wiggle. All right, I think it's on there. So this thing has a really strong magnetic pull, so it's not gonna be letting go of this thing with any kind of ease. Man, that is a serious magnetic pull, that's crazy. So your phone is gonna be on there. Where's my phone? Uh, okay, I got it. So you just kinda smack your phone on there and it's holding. Wow, that is crazy. We got some bumpy streets here in Houston, so this is gonna get a real good road test right here. All right, right now it's holding pretty steady. It's not, I can't even see that thing jiggling. Oh man, folks, I think it's a keeper. I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here. It's a keeper, man. 
it holds the phone real nice. Let me go ahead and slide it into landscape, see how that holds. Oh wow, so if you got, if you don't have a GPS in your car, it'll be a nice addition to the top of your dashboard. That way you can uh, mount your GPS up there and it's just gonna stay. All right, check it out. The Hamsung multifunction device holder is a big win in my book. This is one of those simple and effective things that really helps you out, especially while you're on the road. It allows you to keep your hands on the road or your hands on the steering wheel and your eyes on the road, man. I was actually pretty surprised at how sturdy this thing is. I mean, it is rock solid. The build quality is super solid. Uh, great device. I'm a fan. Two thumbs up. Look, but I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews. But before I go, I'm gonna need y'all to tap on that like button. Smash on that subscribe button. No, for real. Smash it. No, smash it. And I'll see y'all at the next one.